morning. It's Memorial Day, a day that's not just a, a day off from work, but it's a day to remember what our freedom really is, what it cost from the American Revolution all the way up until today. American men and women are putting their lives on the line for our freedoms. We need to be grateful and we need to act and respond in ways that are appropriate. Jesus is responding to uh, the Jews who are really trying to trap him. And in John chapter 7, beginning on verse 37, uh, G on the last day, the great day of the feast, Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus stood and cried out saying, if anyone's thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Think about this for just a moment. Jesus comes and he offers to satisfy, to satisfy our soul, to, to fully quench. You know, there's times when I like my coffee. There's times when I like my, my water or my iced tea. But all the time, this Jesus is what I need. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you for the men and women who gave of themselves for our freedom. Father, thank you and bless their families. Father, thank you for our Messiah, our Jesus, who came to the cross, shed his blood, died, buried, and risen on the third day to give us our life. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great Memorial Day.